kids, welcome to our CA Kids pre-show. I'm so glad you joined us today. We're gonna have so much fun. Today, we're going to continue our series on acts. We're first gonna start off with Miss Sabina teaching you some actions to be my guide. Our worship team will be singing this at Big Church, but this way you can join in when you hear the chorus. Hey everybody, so good to see you all again. I'm gonna teach you the actions to a good song called Be My Guide. Later in the service, your parents are gonna be singing this song and when you hear it, you're gonna know the actions. So we're first gonna put our hands across like we're hugging ourselves when we say, how I love you, because God loves us so much and we love him a lot. So how I love you, great and mighty king. Put our hands up like a crown on our head, because God is a king. And again, hug yourself. You are faithful, because God takes care of us. We can always trust him. Hands up again through the ages. You never change. Can we try that all together? Start with a big hug. How I love you. And hands up. Great and mighty King. You are faithful. Through the ages, you never change. Great job, everyone. Let's try that just one more time. Give yourselves a nice big hug. How I love you. Great and mighty King, you are faithful. Through the ages, you never change. Awesome job, everyone. Make sure that when your parents start singing this song that you guys are dancing along with everyone. Okay, kids, now it's time for Ask a Pastor. <laughs> I've invited Pastor Josh Casola to join me for the segment, and I'm going to ask him questions while he stuffs his face with marshmallows. How does that sound? Sounds great. Yeah, okay, good. So here's how it works. Before he answers each question, he has to add a marshmallow to his mouth and answer the question clearly. If he can answer 10 questions, he wins the challenge and is deemed the Ask a Pastor champion for this week. Woo! Sounds awesome. Do you think you can do it? I think so, hopefully. Okay, okay we're ready. And starting now, what's your favorite color? Red. What's, how old are you? Uh, 24. What's your favorite song? Uh, uh, my dog uh, dogs or cats? Uh, dogs. Okay, horses or eagles? Eagles. Minecraft or the playground? Uh, the playground. Oh, oh, playground, oh yeah, favorite Bible character? Uh, favorite Bible character, hurry! Uh, Sing the chorus from Yummy. Uh, what's your mom's name? Uh, Oh yeah, what's your, oh, no, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. what, what's your mom's name? Okay, and who's your favorite pastor? I'm Jesus. Jesus, yes, mm -hmm. good, good, very good. He got all of it in. Yay, he wins. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Josh, for joining us today. Can we just give him applause? Yay. Do you remember what our memory verse is? It's, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses everywhere. Acts 1.8. The Holy Spirit is our helper from God that gives us strength to share God's love and helps us to make the right choices. Now we're going to watch our Bible story to learn more about the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's check it out. Stories of the Bible. Philip and the Ethiopian. This is Philip. Hello. Who was one of Jesus' disciples. Yep. Philip preached the good news of Jesus in many places. One day, an angel of the Lord spoke to him and said, go south down the desert road. I hear that. So Philip started out and he met the treasurer of Ethiopia. The man had gone to Jerusalem to worship and he was now returning to Ethiopia. He was in his carriage reading the book of Isaiah out loud. Hey there. The Holy Spirit said to Philip, Go over and walk along beside the carriage. Okay, I can do that. Philip ran over and heard the man reading and asked, Do you understand what you are reading? The man replied, How can I, unless someone teaches me? Come on up here. And he urged Philip to come up into the carriage and sit with him. Those parts here. The Ethiopian asked Philip, Tell me, was Isaiah talking about himself or someone else? So beginning with this scripture in Isaiah, Philip told the Ethiopian the good news about Jesus. As they rode along, they came to some water. Wait, 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 hold on. And the Ethiopian said, look, there's some water. Why can't I be baptized? 
he ordered the carriage to stop. Stop! And they went down into the water and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away and took him to another town. The Ethiopian never saw Philip again, but went on his way rejoicing. What a great Bible story. Remember, the Holy Spirit is a helper from God who gives us strength and helps us make the right choices. With the Holy Spirit in our hearts, we can do so much. Also, kids, did you know that we created an activity book on our series? If you don't have one already, make sure to pick one up at the church office or download it at cachurch.info. And don't forget to watch the rest of the lesson. All right, service is starting in just a few minutes. See you next week. Bye.